Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about the HPE ProLiant DL580 Gen 8 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on drives, both hard drives and solid state drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. To learn a little bit more about the HP ProLiant DL580 Gen 8 server, do us a favor if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, what's up in? Uh, this video will be specifically dedicated to drives. So what we're gonna do in this video is a nice refresh because this is an older machine and the spec sheet is a bit outdated at this point in time. So we're gonna try and help uh, refresh everybody on what is actually compatible nowadays. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by going over the compatible interfaces, the compatible types of drives. Then we're gonna go over the max speeds and size for those drives and we will be going off HPE spec sheet and what is actually compatible nowadays to kind of give it a general refresh. And then we're gonna show you how to install them which is super easy because it's a hot plug-in drive. And at the very end, we're gonna show you how to test your drives with a cool tool that we like called HD Sentinel. Let's get going. All right, so what drives are compatible? Well, there's four types of compatible drives. You have SATA hard drives, SAS hard drives, SATA solid state drives, and SAS solid state drives. No, unfortunately, NVMe is not compatible the Gen 8 is an older generation, so NVMe is just not natively compatible. So, all right, uh, what speeds do each of those interfaces have? Well, with your SATA hard drive, you're gonna get 7.2K RPM. That's it. Uh, it's the slowest, unfortunately, but that's what you're gonna get with a SATA hard drive. With SAS, you can get 7.2K, but you can also get 10K and 15K, so that's the advantage of a SAS hard drive over a SATA hard drive is it's a little bit faster. But I will note, if you're using a used SAS hard drive, and this is an older machine, so I'm sure there's plenty of people at home that are using used SAS hard drives, or they're maybe they're were new back in the day, but they've been using them for three to five years, which makes them used at this point. Um, I would say that they're spinning very, very fast. The ball bearings will wear out over time, keep a spare on hand or you know maybe replace it now just to prevent an issue down the line but SAS hard drives are prevalent to fail so all right so SATA solid state drives will get six gigabit per second whereas SAS will get 12 gigabit per second that's the big advantage again the SAS is generally faster than SATA both on solid state and on the hard drive side all right so let's talk about the sizes and this is where we really thought we could use a nice little refresh because the spec sheet is a bit outdated so it's going to show for SATA hard drives two terabytes it's going to show 1.8 8 terabyte for SAS hard drives, and it's going to show 3.8 terabytes, 3.84 terabytes for both SATA and SAS solid state drives. Now we've played around with it. Um, what we've done, and I'm sure someone at home is going to say that they've done something a little bit higher, and we'd love to hear that actually. So if you have put in something higher than we have about are about to say, do drop a comment down below, let the other users know, because everyone would love to hear about it. So we have uh, put in two terabytes on the SATA hard drive side. We've put in 2.4 terabytes on the SAS hard drive side. We've put in 7.68 terabytes on the SATA solid state drive side. And we've put in 15.3 terabytes on the SAS solid state drive side. So that's the real big winner there is the SAS solid state drives are gonna be the fastest and the highest scalability. So all right, so now we know a little bit more about the types, the sizes, the speeds. Let's go ahead and show you how to install them, which is super easy because they're hot plug-in. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, got my AC gear on. We are safe to work on our machine. So let me show you how easy it is to replace an old hard drive. You're just gonna push your red square, slide it out. This is an old 300 gig SAS drive. It was a great drive back in the day, uh, but now we want to get um, a little bit more life into our old Gen 8 and we want to have a Band-Aid, stretch it out for a couple more years. So we're going to hop in a, a nice little uh, solid state drive. This is only a 1.92 TB SATA, but this is still going to be a great drive to increase the overall performance. So we're just going to go ahead and slide this in. I'll show you again just how easy it is. Remove another one of these 300 gig SAS drives. So just pop this open. And again, actually I should point out, uh, when you buy from our site, uh, you will get the correct tray, which is important to make sure that your SSD will register with your Gen 8. And that's it, that's how easy it is to pop it in. So now what we're gonna do is show you a cool tool called HD Sentinel. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now. And as you can see, we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great, especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has 
been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been, you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see, we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software. Like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%. So all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom built server or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock. So you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com. Sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.